When you want to explore an area, which is better to use, Google Earth or Topo Maps? Well, both are actually very useful tools, and I'll give you a few tips here on how to use both of them. This is an image from Google Earth, and if you study this, you can see quite a few things. Uh, in addition to the road that's obviously there, there are some other very interesting features, but you have to look closely in order to pick them out. Starting on the right-hand side of this image, you'll notice a, a dark line that snakes through the greenery there. It suggests that that might be the location of a river. Now you can do a number of things with the tools that Google Earth has available. For instance, you can uh, check on elevations at particular points. You can measure the distance between two points. You can, of course, observe where there are open areas. There might be places that you'd want to explore. Uh, you can take a look at these uh, green areas that are identified by uh, this green grass. And uh, the green grass is different than the greenery that you would get from trees or bushes. The grass is something that's very dependent on water. And so if you see some uh, sort of uh, uh, very green grass next to areas where the grass is of a much lighter color or a brown color, that suggests either a creek in that area or perhaps it's a spring that's keeping that grass greener than the rest of the grass. The previous Google Earth image was taken in 2015. Now this image was taken in 2006, and it's very useful to use the history feature in Google Earth to see what happened in the past, because what happened in the past may not be visible from images that are taken more recently. And you can see in this image, the uh, in the lower right-hand corner, there's uh, some equipment and there's been uh, a lot of earth moving that has occurred here and it's actually the uh, result of some mining activity along a creek. So uh, when you're going out to search an area, knowing what happened in the past can help you locate areas that you'd want to explore now. While Google Earth is extremely useful, it doesn't show you everything and that's why topo maps can be very helpful in completing some of the information that uh, you need for your explorations. For instance, in this topo image, you can very clearly see where the streams are. There's a small creek that goes through the meadow. There's a, there's a larger creek. Uh, and then there's also the, uh, the Calaveras River is clearly marked here. And if you remember from the Google Earth image, the uh, Calaveras River was very difficult to see. It was only suggested by a uh, sort of a squiggly line that went through the greenery, and you couldn't even see the other creeks very clearly. This is the same topo map, but I've included one more thing in this. If you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see an arrow that indicates a little square right there, and that square is a building that existed at that time. Now, future topo maps, however, may be different and not include some of the things that were in earlier topo maps. So therefore, it's good to use topo maps from several different time periods. For example, here's a topo map from 2015. And you'll see it's of the same area, but that little square indicating a building is no longer indicated on the map. 